Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Today we are talking about vein disease with the Center for Vein Restoration. Joining us now to tell us more is Laura Scott. Thank you so much for being here, Laura. We appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning. You're welcome. Okay, let's start with this. What is chronic venous insufficiency? Well, chronic venous insufficiency describes the ineffective blood flow through the veins in the legs. Instead of the one-way valves helping to return the blood to the heart, um, they allow the blood to pool in the veins in the legs. And this can cause pressure within the veins, leading to dilated um, and stretching uh, ropey veins that are visible under the skin. Okay, so how does someone know if they have this, Laura? What are some of the signs and symptoms? Well, people can have bulging veins visible under the skin, pain and swelling, and eventually it can lead to skin discoloration, uh, darkening of the skin, dryness and itching of the skin, and eventually it can lead to skin ulceration or breakdown. And the wounds that develop can be painful and very slow to heal. Hmm. I know a lot of people have this next question. Is vein disease, is it genetic? It absolutely is. is it? We tend, uh, we do have that tendency uh, to pass it along mm. uh, genetically. So we see it running in families very frequently. There are some other things that can contribute to the development of varicose veins and chronic venous insufficiency, however, um, and that can be uh, lifestyle choices, mm. um, being overweight, uh, exercising uh, frequently, like running or jogging or even weightlifting, can contribute. Um, pregnancy and the female hormones of pregnancy can play a role, um, and especially jobs that require long periods of sitting or standing. We see it quite frequently in nurses and teachers, truck drivers, uh, people who work in factories and have to stand for long periods of time. Oh, well, maybe TV news anchors who are sitting all the time. So, exactly. how, oh my goodness, look out for that. How does this disease progress, Laura? So the symptoms just worsen in severity um, and the veins and the skin discoloration can become more prominent over time. Um, age does play a role as well. Uh, we do see about 50% of the population having some kind of vein problems by age 50. Now is this treatment, is it covered by insurance, Laura? Absolutely. Okay. Most insurances do cover vein treatment depending on the severity of the problems. That's great. Anything else we and haven't covered? that you think is important, Laura? Anything else about this topic you'd like to talk about? Absolutely. If you aren't sure whether or not your leg symptoms are from underlying vein problems, our office does offer free vein screenings. So we mm. can just take a quick look and give you a better idea if the veins are the culprit. Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you so much for tuning in today and for calling in. We appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. And thank you again. If you want any more information on this topic, just head on over to the hot link section of WNEM.com.